that may today hear the Spirit of God speaking to their hearts and talking to them in some way that makes them want to make a stand for Him to this day. If you are seeing in your, in your own hearts that many things are taking place and that you can see that the Lord is coming soon, then this call is going out to you. Anyone that hasn't made a commitment to Christ before and would like to do so and can see that all the wonderful things that Jesus has done for them on that cross and all the sacrifices he has made has been for this very day for that person. If you are that person that the Lord is calling to you, I ask you to take a stand now for Christ. Take a stand for his kingdom because Jesus is coming soon. Amen, brother. Amen. God is coming soon, my friends. Is there anyone else who would like to take a stand that has never made a commitment to Christ, but they can feel that burning sensation in their heart telling him to take a stand? Even if you have made a commitment before, but you have been led away, but this day you know Jesus is calling you, my son, my son, come back, I am coming soon. Then take a stand this day for him. Is there anyone else? If not, I would like to make a call also for anyone else out here that may have not been, may have been living the life of the world and living in the world. But this day, they, want to, they realize that Christ is coming soon and they realize how much Jesus has done for them and they wish to dedicate more of their time or whatever it is to Christ. And if you can feel the Lord calling you on that today, then this call is for you too. Please take a stand. Even if it is just for between you and Christ, just in His eyes and between you and Him, then take a stand for Him. Is there anyone willing to? Amen. Well, if not, if there's no one else, we will just close in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we come before your presence today, Lord, because you are God Almighty, you are our King and our Lord, Lord, and we, we give you honour and praise above all, above everything, Lord Jesus. We, we know that when we get to heaven, there will be no imperfection in heaven, Lord, except one thing, and that will be those two scars upon your hand, Lord Jesus. And may those scars not be worth nothing, Lord, May we take heed to everything that is going on around us in this world. And may we continue to draw closer to you, Lord. Continue to seek you. To seek your voice, Lord Jesus. Because we know there will come a time that, that the price of food will be, start to become very dear, Lord Jesus. And, and we will not be able to save up food or anything like that. We will have to rely completely on you, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we just ask you to begin to direct our wills. Teach us how to live by faith this very day, Lord, and continue to walk us down that path that, that when all these things happen, we will not be left with our oil half full, Lord, but we will be full with full measures of oil, full measures of the Holy Spirit, Lord, and that, that we will hear his voice and that we will take heed to every instruction that you would have us to do, Lord. I ask you to please bless every single person in this church today, Lord, and may when they go home, they not forget any words, but they... They sit down and they reflect on, on everything, Lord. Reflect their own lives and, and where, they, where they think they stand with you, Jesus. May they reflect on that when they get home. And through that, draw closer to you and serve you with, greater, with a greater measure, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for bringing us all here today, Lord. In your holy and wonderful name we pray, Jesus. Amen.